Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me about making a divider for like nuts and bolts for a drawer. I'm gonna make the easiest way first. I might make a couple of videos. Let's say our drawer is square and we're gonna make it 14 inches and we want the divider just two inches tall. I've got my ratio unlocked, so it did that. I'm gonna have P, put P and put it in the center of the page. Then I'm gonna take another rectangle. Doesn't matter how long it is, but we want it 0.13. We're gonna make this out of eighth inch plywood, which would be your best choice because it's gonna be strong. I'm gonna convert it to a curve. Go to object and convert it to a curve. That's gonna come into play later when we uh, blend it together. Control D, I'm putting it right there on that edge. On this particular one, you've gotta have a little bit of ways to have this joint. My nudge factor, I'm gonna set on 0.25. We're gonna nudge this in a quarter of an inch on both ends. Now that's gonna be wasted space, but it's gonna be plenty strong. Then we're gonna take both these objects and we're gonna go up to effects and blend. And we're gonna blend them four times, which will give us five equal parts. Now my box is in the center, so I'm gonna draw a two point line, start moving and then hold down the control button and hit P. Now I want my joint to be a little bit longer, uh, so it fits together a little bit loose, but it, it doesn't matter in this type of situation. So I'm gonna move my nudge to 0 0.02, and I'm gonna nudge this up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key and delete this. Now I'm gonna go through and delete these lines. This is real quick. One more. Now I'm gonna take our friend, the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. That gave us our first divider. And if your drawer is equal in every dimension and you wanted all your dividers to be the same, you're already done. And we'll kind of prove to this how this works. You know, this is this edge will be the top on this one. And then you're gonna put the other one in the other way and we're gonna watch, so we're gonna control D and make a duplicate and then flip it. And you'll see that our joints overlap. That way they'll fit together. So basically they're gonna go together like, you know, let's make a, 14 inch long by 0.13, and then do another one, control D and then uh, rotate it 90 degrees. So that's what they're gonna look like from the top. So you're gonna have a little bit of waste in the corner and then you're just gonna have a bunch of these. So one of them fits, you know, they're just gonna slide together. Now that's the easiest way to do it. And this is without a bottom and this would be if they were all the same, you know, the same width. Now, if they're not, well, I might make another video. I'm trying to keep the videos a little bit shorter, but that's how you'd make a divider for a drawer. As you can see, that one is just gonna slip in there crossways. And because we made them a little bit longer, they're gonna, they're still gonna be snug. You know, if you did it right on the money, you might have, it might not fit so closely up in there. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.